Okay, so why does this matter? What is the, what's the purpose of the voltage divider? Well, here's a, a very simple little uh, circuit that might actually be a, a sensor circuit. Uh, what it is, is a voltage meter here that has a really high resistance. What does that do? Well, that keeps any current from moving through this part of the loop. So we can kind of ignore that and use the equations that we just found uh, for that simple loop circuit on the previous slides. Uh, if we know E1 uh, and R2, in other words, we'll, we'll make this circuit with known values, uh, and we have a voltage meter here, and voltage is pretty easy to read, we can determine what R1 is. Okay, well you might say, well, don't we know what R1 is? Didn't we put in a, a, a resistor there? Uh, we could, uh, but more usefully, um, we'll have some resistor here that changes with conditions, whether that be temperature, strain, or force. And so if we replace R1, instead of just a regular old resistor, we put in some kind of sensor that acts as a resistor, um, but changes its resistance with that temperature or strain, we can figure out what the temperature or strain is by reading our voltage. And so that's why this is a really crucial kind of basic circuit for uh, experimentation. Here's a, a simple example of that, another way of we can use a voltage divider uh, with that's called a potentiometer. Now, what happens here is we have an unknown voltage here that might be produced by some uh, sensor circuit. And so that can gives us a wider range of things that, uh, that we might be able to measure with this. Anything that's gonna produce a voltage based on a change in physical conditions. Um, we set up this circuit so there's a little galvanometer here that just tells us what direction the current is going. And then we have an adjustable resistor that's called a potentiometer. Uh, and we can turn the dial and basically it's gonna move this contact point along this resistive wire. What good does that do? Well, it changes R1 and R2, right? R1 is here, R2 is down here. But I'm, if I move this contact point, now R1 is smaller and R2 is bigger. So I can move that contact point until G stays the same, okay? In other words, it's not, the current's not going in either direction, which would tell me that my voltage here is the same as my voltage here, okay? So I adjust my potentiometer to find the place where this voltage is equal to this voltage, and I can calculate this voltage using the equation with R1 and R2, okay? Because I can basically figure out how far along this resistive wire my contact point is. And so the position of that contact point tells me my voltage here, the fact that this is not moving tells me that my voltage here is the same as my voltage here, and now I have a circuit that tells me an unknown, a useful unknown. And that's how a simple uh, potentiometer works. Um, so we can use a voltage divider in a couple of different ways uh, to tell us about some kind of physical condition uh, that's changing either a resistance or a voltage in our circuit. And that's an introduction to uh, voltage dividers.